my dad hasn't been well through the months of April and May. He hasn't been well for a while, but April and May he was really bad. And um, I flew to Bangalore where they live. And I took him to the hospital in early June. And they admitted him straight away. They said he had a really bad infection in his lung. So while they were treating him, they did a scan and they found a mass in his right lung. They were quite concerned, the doctors were concerned, because he had had a scan just 12 months previously and there was nothing, his lungs were completely clear. So the concern was whatever was growing had grown very rapidly and uh, the concerns were quite genuine. So they needed to do um, obviously a biopsy on it, but they couldn't because my father's been a heart patient for 35 years and he's been on blood thinners and things like that. So they said, we're going to wait, we're going to treat him for his infection, we'll wait two weeks, we'll take him off his blood thinners, and then we'll do a bronchoscopy and see how it goes. So obviously for us, my father is 77 years old, and uh, this was a very hard thing to take. And at that point of time, they said, looking at the shape, the size, the fact that there are some lymph nodes next to it, uh, we're giving it a 50-50% chance. And I called Pastor Shekhar, I called Pastor Levina, and my mom, my mom-in-law, uh, and I said, please pray for us because I don't want to put my dad at 77 through chemo and radiation and things like that. And uh, when they did the scan before that, they found that there was no change in shape or size. So they said, okay, this looks pretty bad and, you know, we're going to do it. So when they did the bronchoscopy, they couldn't get anywhere near the mass because every time they were scraping the, um, the lung, the inside of the lung, he was bleeding internally because of being on blood thinners. So they said, we have to stop we're not going to do it now uh, when they did the scan they found again that the mass was the same size so then they upped the chances they said that now it looks like it's 70 30 percent 70 percent malignant 30 percent not and um, i know pastor sent out messages to prayer groups to you to the church to ask you all to pray for us and i've never prayed so hard in my life I walked a hundred kilometers and prayed every step of the way. Uh, I did uh, I did a walk to Santiago de Compostela, which is the burial place of St. James. And uh, I meditated on something that pastor had said here in this church on a Sunday that I had come in. And he said, we're human and our vision is limited and our thoughts are limited and he said don't focus on the doctor's reports don't focus on our reports but focus on the report of god because his report and his vision is completely different from what we might see and uh, yesterday was dad's scan because they had said uh, since they couldn't do it through the bronchoscopy they said they would do a scan and then they'd do a guided uh, ct scan biopsy so they'd put a needle into his lung and then take out some of the mass so yesterday was his scan, and God's report says that the mass has shrunk significantly. <laughs> and there's no biopsy needed. Wow. They didn't, there was no biopsy needed. I've always said in my life that I will never be able to repay. My God is good and he's great. And our blessings in our life are multifold. More than I would ever be able to repay. But I thank you. I thank you pastors. I thank you church. I thank every single one of you for all of your prayers. And I think the only way that I can repay is to pray for each one of you. To bless you. To bless your families. Thank you so much.